What's going on everybody? Today we're going to be taking a look at the Xbox system. Now a lot of you have been asking me about this system. Do, is it included? When am I going to add it? And my response has always been that this is very early in, in, in its development and a lot of games do not work, but I went ahead and added it anyway. So I just want to give you guys a little bit of uh, an explanation of to how this system is set up. Just so you guys know, it's not really necessary, but uh, it's not going to impact you, but you know, I like to be honest and I like to show you guys exactly how I set things up. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at this. So this here is the compatibility list, right? So if you take a look, you can see that there's a lot of stuff that isn't working. Like scroll down, see all this stuff, none of it works, right? And then even all this green right here, the partially working doesn't really work. Partially working just means it, it like starts up, right? So if we take a look at this first game here, you can see that it says, uh, sometimes goes in game with, uh, with glitches in the visuals and then usually crashes after starting a new game, uh, with the following error. So that's really unplayable. And that's going to be the case for pretty much all these games right here that say partially working. Now, if you go down, you can see that there's only four that say perfect. And then these other ones say working. Now these still have issues, but they work pretty well, right? So if we take a look at, let's say, just set radio future right here. It'll say that uh, it has minor issues and then it lists a few issues that you might encounter, right? But it works and I've tested this game and uh, it works pretty well. All right, so with that said, uh, I'm gonna explain to you guys how I configured this. Now, Xbox and PlayStation 2 share a lot of the same games, right? So what I did is I set it up in a way where any game that was shared between the two systems actually launches with the PlayStation 2 emulator. And the reason for that is that, again, a lot of the actual games, the PlayStation, uh, the Xbox ROMs and the Xbox emulator, a lot of the games don't work, but a lot more games do work with the PlayStation 2 emulator. So when you start up a game from Xbox, it might be a PlayStation 2 game. It might might start with the PlayStation 2 emulator is a better way of saying it. And you would never know because you're going to start it from the Xbox emulator. It's going to show Xbox artwork and all of that stuff. But in the back end, it's actually using the PlayStation 2 emulator. Now, there's only 15 games I added that, are, that actually start with the Xbox emulator. And those are 15 games that are Xbox exclusive titles and also 15 games that actually work. Anything else that is here that says working was part of PlayStation 2. So instead of taking more space on the drive, I'd rather save that space for other systems and just make those launch with the PlayStation 2 emulator because again, it's the exact same game. So it doesn't really matter. All right, so with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at Hyperspin and I'll explain to you guys further uh, how I set this up. So here's uh, Xbox, it's the main theme, let's go in. Now here, again, this is the eight terabyte system you're looking at. So you are, you're gonna have uh, the Xbox games that show up here, as well as all the other games that are really Xbox games as well, but they're gonna launch with the PlayStation 2 emulator, right? Now for the two terabyte system, you're only gonna get the 15 games, right? That's because that game, that system already includes a limited amount of PlayStation 2 games anyway. But for the eight terabyte games, you're gonna get the 15 Xbox uh, quote unquote real games. And then a lot of these other ones are really just PlayStation 2 games. But again, you have it showing up as an Xbox game with all the right artwork and everything. Now, if you want to single out those 15, you can go to the genre and I've created an Xbox working genre. So if you go in there, these are these are the real quote unquote um, games that launch with the Xbox emulator. Now, I believe these are actually Xbox exclusives. So these are worth having uh, start up with the Xbox emulator because they're not available on PlayStation 2. So here they are. That's all these games here. And then uh, another way you can tell what is a PlayStation 2 game or what launches with the PlayStation 2 emulator and what doesn't is if you start up a game. So let's start up uh, 007 here. Uh, PlayStation 2 games are ones that launch with the PlayStation 2 emulator launch a lot quicker and they'll have the Xbox bezels on the side like this, right? Now, if you go into the genre and you select one of the 15 games that I told you about that are actually working games, start Jet Set Future here. 
um, you're going to see that first it takes a lot longer to load. Okay, it loaded faster because I already loaded it before, but it's going to take a lot loader to uh, longer to load that game. And also there's no bezels, it's widescreen. I'd rather do a 4.3 because these games were designed for 4.3, but uh, this emulator just does not like going 4.3, so I had to leave it at 69 uh, without bezels, okay? So it loaded quicker for me because I've already loaded it before, but for you, any actual uh, Xbox 360, uh, I'm sorry, Xbox games are gonna launch and they're gonna take a little bit longer um, to load. So with that said, there's also going to be the 16 terabyte system. And on that system, you're going to get uh, the 15 games, obviously, then all the rest, just like the 8 terabyte system, all of the rest of the PlayStation 2 uh, games. But you're also on top of that going to get all of the actual Xbox uh, ROMs that don't work or are untested. You're still going to have those there as well. And uh, the reason for that is there's space on the 16 terabyte drive for that. And then in the future, if those become working titles, you're going to have them already. All right. So expect a good number of games on the 16 terabyte setup that are Xbox games not to work as per that uh, compatibility list. All right, guys. So I think that about covers everything. Um, I know there's a lot of detail, a lot of rambling in this video, but I always like to be upfront with you guys. So, you know, the th main take takeaway from this is that you guys are not going to have any idea if it's Xbox or if it's PlayStation 2 because the games were uh, released on both platforms except for something like this. Obviously, that is an Xbox exclusive. So whether you're playing it on the P PS2 emulator or the Xbox emulator, it's not really going to make a difference. All right, so that's going to be it for this one, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys on the next one.